2,000 years ago, the Roman Empress Caesar Augusta made a very big decision. I have decided to conduct the census. All the people in my empire should return to the place where they were born so that their names can be recorded. Very soon across the land of Judea, the streets were filled with the hustle and bustle getting ready for their journey. Loudly now, and he thought 
he'd better not wake them. So the curious sheep went back to lie down and watch the couple and the donkey as they made their way along the road far below. From up here I can see the whole world and there's so much to look at and so much to do. I can't just, I can't keep still. To him, the world was new and everything was exciting, but the rest of his thoughts were tied after a long day grazing. Can you please be quiet? I'm just trying to get some wax. Sorry. But I can't do to sleep. Why well, am something exciting is going to happen? Well, my eyes are shut. Nothing's going to happen. Nothing ever happens around here. We eat grass and we sleep. That's what sheep do. No, something is exciting it is going to happen. I can tell. And I don't want to be snoring when it does. Yes, we are. I know something exciting is going to happen. I can feel it in my tummy. for many days. My calculations show we are close. Which direction should we go now? I'm not sure, Melchior. Uh, I studied my charts, but still the path is not clear to me. What do you think, Casper? I think we have it the wrong way up. We should have turned left at Jericho. As I pondered what to do, a dazzling star suddenly appeared in the eastern sky. It lit up the hills and the feet and fields all around them. The three wise men turned from their map and stared up in wonder. It's the, it's the brightest star I've ever seen. What does it mean? It's so beautiful. Surely this is the sign we've been waiting for. What do you think, Belvazar? We must follow it and see where it leads. <laughs> Thank you. 
who are watching the bright star back in her field. The cure, I mean, back in his cure, back in his field, the curious sheep had noticed it too, and so had the shepherds and their flock. Startled by the sudden by the sudden light, the sheep started to race around the field in fear and excitement. The shepherds did their best to round them all up.
lying in a manger room, stable. The shepherds were nervous about what they have heard, but they were also excited, so they decided to set out immediately for Bethlehem. Now I'm sure something curious is going to happen. I must find out what it is. So the shepherds set off for Bethlehem, taking the cure sheep with them. So the cure sheep started running after the shepherds as quickly he could. So the shepherds set off for Bethlehem to take his two sheep with them. When they reached the stable, they could see a man and his wife gazing fondly at a baby lying in the manger. The shepherds and the wise men crowded around, but the two sheep couldn't see what was going on. When they reached the stable, they could see a man and his wife gazing fondly at a baby lying in the manger. The shepherds and the wise men crowded around, but the curiosity couldn't see what was going on. The prophecies were right. We surely found the Son of God. We come bearing gifts. I bring you gold. I bring you frankincense. And I bring you that. The Koshi pushed his way to the front so that he could get a better look. Now that really is curious. 